Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. We're going to start out today looking at a lab on chromatography. And what we're going to look at today is the idea of separation of ink to identify an unknown. So we're going to be looking at suspects pens versus an unknown. And now with chromatography, a couple things you're going to need for setup. You're going to need some beakers for your work, pencil, and the key part with the pencil is that the pencil doesn't bleed, and it's going to be kind of our starting and end point and kind of labeling our information. Our solvent we're going to have is water plus usually acetone or uh, high, um, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or something along those lines. But I think we're going to use acetone and water tomorrow. But we could use a variety of different solvents depending on what we're trying to actually to um, actually try to separate out. Uh, tape is going to be useful. For holding our material together, uh, the suspects' pens, um, the crime scene documents not pictured here, or different colored pens, and then our crime, our, me, our chromatography paper is the other part we're going to have cut into a variety of lengths. So we should probably add on the, the chromatography paper. Now what we're going to look at today is you're going to take the chromatography paper and you're going to be labeling it in pencil. Make sure that you label first off a mark of where you want to put the ink and then the info of what type of pen or pencil you're using. So in this case maybe suspect four would go up here and then down below you know approximately about one inch above or so is where you're going to put a mark and then that's going to be eventually where the ink you're going to test is going to start out with. The second part, solvent level, whatever we're using, water and whatever solvent, is going to be you know, just a little bit above, maybe 100 milliliters to maybe uh, 100 milliliters to maybe 150 milliliters is down on the bottom here of our mixture. Now the key part is for this lab that you want to tape the paper so that it does, or so in this setup that the paper is in the solvent but the ink is not. So you're going to want to be able to set this up, just kind of just tape here, so that when we put it into the beaker, that the water level, or solution level, is here, but the ink is above the water level. And that's going to be important for each of our setup, so that the solvent level here is below the ink. Make sure that the ink does not touch the solvent. This will ruin the evidence. So making sure that we get that ink above. Multiple papers can be run at the same time as what we can see. I want you to take pictures at the beginning, kind of the middle and end, to see what we're going to be seeing uh, as that solvent starts to travel up so we can have some comparison. Well, what's going to happen is the solvent is going to start being pulled up the paper. And as it's being pulled up the paper, it's going to push the ink or pull the ink along with it. And as it does, it's going to begin to separate it out into different colors. Now you can see the solvent line is here right now. And that solvent line is just going to keep on moving up. And as our ink moves up, it's going to separate out to different components or basically different colors is what we're hoping to see our ink separate out into. Now, the last part will be is you're going to need to compare the inks or the pens found at the crime scene. So we're going to have to look at the suspects versus the document. And so what we're going to look at is our question document or the document from the crime scene. What we're going to end up doing is you're going to cut a piece out. So we're actually going to take a piece of the document out with the scissors. Then we're going to place it so it's facing down on the chromatography paper at that same pencil line area. Once it's there, dropping a little drop of water on there so it helps bleed on there. And then taking a piece of tape and taping it so that it sticks right here. And then you're going to be able to run the ransom note to compare the ransom note information to the other inks tested earlier and to kind of match up to see what they're going to look like in the end. Um, chromatography, you know, the 
inclined solvent should get towards the top is when you're going to be finished up. So taking pictures, beginning, middle, and end, so that you can kind of compare each one together. You're going to insert those into a document uh, for your observations and then to kind of answer those questions afterwards about which ink is done. Now look here, we have green. You can begin to see the yellow and the blue. Teal, you can begin to see some different blues and greens. And purples are the colors that were expressed or actually separated out in the mixtures of these two uh, versus the different inks that you'll be te are set, are testing today. Besides that, we'll let you go ahead and get to work. Uh, check in if you have any questions.